James Harden. King Glizzy. Can I make a on can the I, move? Can I make a bold prediction? Yeah. <laughs> Even though it's not on the record time, but I'm gonna say something on the record. Yeah. This trade will turn into a disaster for the Nets. Thank oh, you. Yeah. Just like Kyrie. They all have a player option after next year, right? I don't think Harden does, does he? I think he does. Harden, Harden's he does. got three years left, doesn't they he? They all have it. They all have it. The fucking Nets gave up way too much for him. There's gonna be another uh, Paul Pierce KG situation. Ugh, I think yep. this is gonna be a disaster. They gave up all their first Supposedly, Chris, supposedly Kyrie Irving's furious about what happened about the trade. What? Do you, want? what? He's, he's you didn't hear about this? Supposedly he's furious of the trade. Why are you furious? You're not even fucking there. He's not uh, even there. The saw this cow that said. Uh, Kyrie Irving didn't want to play Robin to, bat, to LeBron James uh, Batman. Now he's playing Alfred. To, uh, <laughs> what is that? Who's Alfred? <laughs> he's Alfred, the butler. The butler. He's, he's the, the butler. Hilarious. <laughs> Alfred the butler? What is that from? Batman. Uh, yeah. That's hilarious. Wow. So yeah. why do you think this is going to be a disaster? You don't think it's going to turn around? I think I think there's, two, there's not enough basketballs now in the state of New Jersey, number one. Number two <laughs> is no, number two is Kevin Durant and James Harden have already played together before, and we all know how that turned out when they were back in their days in Oklahoma. I mean, that's, that's wasn't Russell the problem? Yeah, yeah. I mean, James Harden win. wasn't the player that James Harden is now when he was on the Thunder. He's yeah, but you could argue that KD wasn't the same player either. That's also true. Could argue you'd rather have six man James Harden. Could argue. I'm just could saying that. It. I mean, there's there, there's a thing to be said. That if James Harden and Kevin Durant, and I'm only naming those two, Kyrie Irving to me is a joke, so we're going to leave him out of this. So if those two, are they going to sacrifice their individual stats? I could see Durant doing it. I don't see Harden doing it. And Durant shouldn't. It, it's, it's hilarious how the least toxic of the three of them is KD. It's just like, you know, KD, even the three Mr. Burner account himself. Mr. Burner account, Mr. Snake himself is the least toxic of the three of them. What if they're also? That's a sad. That's a sad, sad statement. The only yeah. thing KD has going for him is at least he likes playing basketball. Like the other two, eh? They're about like they're, they're about other things. James Harden's got strip clubs. Kyrie's got whatever the yeah. hell he's got going. Kyrie's on. ridiculous. He's on the Zoom call with the politicians the other night. The game <laughs> starts at seven thirty. He's on the Zoom at seven. Well, I tell you, I I still remember this to this day. The Celtics were in Game Seven, and he decided to get surgery on that day. And not be at Game Seven. He he couldn't play because he was hurt. I'm not disputing that, but he couldn't be even be at the game because he wanted his, his surgery that day. They should have won that game too. Couldn't wait until the next day. He really needed it that bad. Yep. He wasn't even there. He got his he scheduled his surgery when the game was happening. What if this could the be fuck a good? Is that, what if this is King James? I'm gonna tell you something, Ky Kyrie. I I I don't agree with Stephen A. Smith a lot. Because I think he's a fucking lunatic asshole. But I still want to interview with him. One, I still want to talk to him one day. But I will say he's 100% right about Kyrie. He needs to retire. I mean, it's a joke. He's a joke. He's a joke. Wait, why do you say that Kyrie needs to retire? Because he's not. he doesn't care about basketball. He doesn't care about basketball. He don't care about basketball. I mean, if you care about... What, what, he's, not, he's not even hurt. Am I, am I right? He's not even hurt. No. What, what, what the fuck He's are we nasty. doing here? Mm. He's absolutely nasty. I mean, yeah, he still plays the ball well. I'll make the team better when he's there. Who knows when he'll be there, though? Mm. What do you guys think of all the tar stars going, when LeBron goes west, all the stars go east? Everyone leaving. I mean, I like what up. Houston's doing. Houston, like, Houston did a good trade. Yeah. I mean, if I'm Houston, I'm very deep, satisfied yeah. with that trade. Yeah, I mean, I think, they're, I think they are a better team today than they were two days ago. Mm. Big time. Yep. I agree. They got a sleeper in, uh, what's that guy's name? The, the, the guy. Levert? No, Levert went to Indianapolis. No, the, the, the guy who went from Indianapolis to them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Him and John Wall could connect really yeah. good. And Boogie. I mean, that's, that's, that offense actually works. Wood. They got Wood. Christian Wood. They got four first round picks. Not that the NBA draft really does picks. Well, really mean they anything, could. They could. You can get a lot of good value from late first rounders. I mean, Tyler Hero, late first rounder. Giannis, the 15th pick. I mean, you can get guys. Yeah, but if, you, if the Nets are supposed to do what the Nets are supposed to do, those picks are going to be like... They're not all Nets picks. Some of them are, because they also trade with the Cavs. And, so they the Cavs are ass. They didn't get a Cavs pick. They got a bunch Cavs of are a fucking out. bonfire. Fucking put that shit out. No. Got, I was um, going to say, you went from having nobody in the East to having almost everybody in the East. Exactly. LeBron went west. 
Yeah. Hope Pardon's happy because it's all going to go south real soon. He's got one year. This is it. This is the year. I don't Player I, option after next I don't, year. I don't think I, – I think they're sticking around with this shit. I really do. I think – I mean, you think Kevin Durant's going to opt out again? No, Kevin Durant's staying in Brooklyn. Kevin and Harden will stay. I think this is their best opportunity. I wonder how it affected their odds getting Harden. Well, I think that the odds favor it now. Oh, their, their odds have got to be way more. I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't so, put a okay, penny on them. still the favorite at plus 225. The Nets are now plus 270. Lakers free money, viewers. They got worse. Yeah, they got better. Nets weren't the favorite before. Do you uh, think that they're all so toxic that it could be a good thing? They're toxic and that can be a good That's thing? That's a little they're reverse toxic. psychology. <laughs> <if> <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> <aware>. well, <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> Holy smokes. They're all negatives. <laughs> yeah. Do you think that all these toxics should actually be a fucking good yeah. thing? You never know. You never know. I mean, you trying to you trying to plot a murder here or something or what? what no, are, you what guys are, you, are you guys are saying that like this is gonna end bad for the Nets, but like this what? is this is gonna be awful for the Nets. But what if it was good for the Nets? I what mean, do you, do you see the uh, Celtics facing them in the Eastern Conference Final? I do, and I still think the Celtics beat them. Wow. Really, the Nets. Wow. You want to know why I'm going with that? Yeah. You just said it's gonna be I'm a bad. I'm biased. Thing. Yeah, I'm biased, but guess what? Everyone's gonna count them out. So fucking put the money on the Celtics. So we're saying this is an emotional pick. 100. 100. 100. I said it's a, it's, a, it's a bias statement. So bias is pretty as close to as emotional as you can get. Yeah. Pritchard but cooks hard in the whole series. Peyton Pritchard. <laughs> Peyton Pritchard's gonna Mark's fucking. Too slow. Love me cooks up Kyrie, dude. Fuck. No emotional picks. Look, I, th- buddy, I told you that this is a pick of the picks. What I'm what? saying to you, this is the pick of picks, and I'm going to explain to you pick why. Of all picks. But we I'm going to explain to you why. We don't do emotional picks here. I'm going to tell you something. Nobody's going to fucking give the Celtics a chance. That's when you go in. Because you never know on any given night. You never know what could happen. Milwaukee will, ha- Milwaukee will lose to Brooklyn. Just saying. Celtics will waltz into the Eastern well, Conference the Finals. Nets, the Nets and Brooklyn are probably going to win You don't know that, though. I mean, right now, Celtics are the one seed. Exactly. Who knows when they're going to play again? I'm just saying that you never know what could happen. All I'm saying, you never know. And by the way, James Harden, you never know. He, he might, he might, he might check out in Brooklyn. I'm, I'm saying, don't sleep on the Sixers. Don't sleep on the Nets. Don't just think the Nets are running away with this shit just yet. Yeah, I wouldn't here. sleep on the Sixers either. I think Doc Rivers. Embiid playing like a different guy. Yeah. I think finally because, getting himself in shape. Because well, Doc Rivers figured out how to make an offense that kind of works for that team. That's because Doc yeah. Rivers is a good coach. Yeah. And I think the Embiid thing's real. Like la- yeah. last year, he's way out of shape. Yeah. His whole career's been out of shape. Mm. This year, he's actually doing something. Yeah.